Yo, humor is the only thing that gets us going. Because when things go bad and you crack a joke about it, you laugh, spirits get lifted. My mom and my late twin brother were way funnier than me. They just never thought that it could be a career. Kumpia and Robert Eric T behind box number 20 are leave. I was so super excited. I'm like, yours that 250,000. Now I was ready. Guys, you look beautiful. Tell me about the reason that brought you to Deal or No Deal and why you want to be part of the show. Okay, so as a stand-up comedian, right, a few months ago in March, I became an internationally acclaimed, award-winning stand-up comedian. Oh, 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 come on now. People start recognizing me in the streets, from TikTok, everything, but I'm broke. I am broke. So, so they know you from the social media streets, yeah, but yeah, still yeah. the reality is that like, Broke life is real. Reality is like it's broke. Okay. <laughs> 30,000 is what I came for. I was like, okay, I'm okay with the okay. We've got 20 boxes all around us, given to everyone at random, including your box number 20, in which could be a life-changing... It's my birthday number it's also. What? Okay. A quarter of a million rand could be inside there. Lucky numbers don't always work out, so I wasn't expecting anything for the number 20. So I'm going to start with... Number 11. Number 11. Zukanya, that's you. Let's start the night. Open up box number 11. Unboxing okay. 50,000 Rand to start off with, okay? I was like, yo, for the first box to be 50,000. Really now? I don't say 30,000 Rand. It's only the start. It can get better, but it didn't. 20,000 Rand. That's decent. Good way to start. Feeling comfortable? Yeah, yeah. 50K, 30K, 20K. I was like, Yo. The first offer from the banker, Bukhufa Mariaka, 2,100 rand. I was like, uh uh, no ways. Definitely no deal. No deal! Nothing less than 30k, nothing less than 30k. Whoa, 150,000! When it 150,000 rand went off that money tree, I knew that I wasn't gonna walk away with much. Let's go with number one. At a number one, okay. A hundred thousand inside number one. Woo. So I had no expectations because that's the only way you're gonna walk away with no disappointment. Okay, okay we'll judge by the reaction yeah. from everyone. All shares open up. Oh, no! Shares, shares, shares. My heart sank to my feet. Nothing comes close to seeing that 250. And then what happens? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Womp, womp, womp. 40,000 gets opened. And I was like, yo, hectic. I'm leaving with 2,000 rand. Now I'm just in for the petrol money that I spent coming here. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. That 30k that I came here for was long time out of my head. 7,000? Yeah, no. 800? <laughs> <laughs> I told myself, now nah, I'm going all the way. Whether I leave with 1,000 rand, whether I leave with 500 rand, because now I want to know why I got to play with my 20, my birthday. My birthday has never, ever been the same since I lost my twin brother, right? Yeah. Because that's when I feel his presence the most. So when I lost my brother seven years ago, I lost him to gang violence. And I can't explain to anyone what it feels like to actually lose a twin. So my whole comedy career started because I needed therapy. He was my best friend. He was always with me. I never needed any friends or anything because I had a permanent best friend. And so it's in that moment I, I felt like my brother is talking to me, my brother is telling me, look, I see you, Ollie. For all the love that you have for him and all the love you've shown us, this is what you're walking away with tonight. Straight from heaven, it was like a, a birthday gift. I'm happy with it. Wow. I'm happy with it. It just made me feel that he's still with me. For my birthday last year, TikTok bought me a car for my birthday. What? <laughs> sure. 
My handle on TikTok is that comedy chick, and they will find everything there. Thank you so much, Arnie. Thank you Amazing. so much. A round of applause. Thank you. I was just very, very happy and content with the amount that I won because it wasn't what I wanted. But in that moment, I was like, it's meant to be. I'm content. Thank you. We, the people, have decided that you guys can keep the RDP houses and then give us the RDP cause instead. Woo! <laughs> Comedy saved my life in such a way that it's actually sad and funny because once I started doing comedy professionally, I put all my energy into doing it professionally. So when I'm on stage expressing my pain, but in a funny way, and the audience can relate, and then I was like, wow, I'm not the only one. There's thousands of people experiencing the same thing that I'm experienced. So I was like, wow, we are so different, but so the same. It gave me a kind of a voice or a platform where I can motivate and inspire people. It gave me purpose. It gave my life purpose. When I got that 10,000 rand, the first thing I did was I left set where I was filming and I went to the nearest garage and I filled up my car for the first time. Minus 1,300 rand, gone. Then I was like, there's so many things wrong with my car. I need to fix the car. So I ended up using 7,000 rand. So the bulk of my money went to fixing Solvi. And that's my car's name, Solvi. Before the Yulo Naudil South Africa, my following was predominantly colored. Right now, it's so diverse that I can go into Googs and people will know my name. So it has changed in a way of now my following is completely South African, completely Uzanzi. So my TikTok following has been on a plateau for the longest time. And then when the episode aired, I got 5,000, like 5,000 followers in an half an hour. Do you know what you gotta do to get 5,000 followers? So thank you, Taylor Nodil, South Africa. I love you guys.